Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, and I've got a lot of information, friends, that I am still wading through. Um, I am going to definitely be putting up another video over on Patreon tomorrow. And also, uh, Yana and myself will be doing a video in the morning uh, that'll air here on Israeli News Live. And by the way, too, I think when we translate the one I'm doing with Yana on iConnect, Israeli News Live, uh, iConnectFX.com, um, we now have multi-voice translations. So if you happen to be speaking, we're going to do it in Russian and I think in Hebrew, maybe Spanish as well. Uh, but it'll be a female voice for my wife and a male voice for myself. So this is really exciting. And then also to uh, the technology to change the voice of the person that you're interviewing. You know, people, they get on there and they don't want nobody to know who they are. So they have them speaking like, hello, my name is John. You can understand me. You know, that is so easy to reverse engineer. It's not even funny. So all these guys who go out there and they think they're disguising their voice, they're really not disguising their voice at all. Well, iConnectFX.com has put in the program to where they're giving you a completely different voice altogether, just like the foreign language app. It'll be an AI voice. So no one can reverse engineer your voice then. Uh, so you could have somebody on in an interview. You can then use that language app on there. It'll give them the English language, English voice, but some AI voice that's not even their voice. And voila, you don't have to worry about their identity to be compromised. So we're really happy to know that's going to happen. Uh, listen, real quick, though, just for a news update, I wanted to share with you guys. Putin's Ukraine invasion has pushed Sweden and Finland to join NATO, right? This is old news. Uh, January 26, 2023. I say old news, not too, too old, just about five days old there. But what you don't know about is what's going on in behind the scenes. Vladimir Putin has threatened Finland, and they have let them know straight up that if you allow NATO to come into your country and to set up uh, borders there in order to try to, uh, uh, or you might call it safety zones, things like that, that they're going to invade. Um, I got that straight from the White House this morning that Putin has warned Finland to stand down or risk conflict as they will secure the border in Finland as well. So in other words, Russia has gone into Ukraine to secure its border there because Zelensky was threatening to put nuclear weapons inside the country and Russia was not going to allow Donetsk and Luhansk to fall because that's like a buffer zone between Europe and Russia. And now because uh, Finland is very fearful of Russia coming in uh, or, or just Russia appeared because of what happened in Ukraine, now they want to join NATO and have NATO come in and put troops on their border between them and Russia. And Putin doesn't have any axe to grind with Finland, but he's let them know straight up. And this is internally. This has not been made public knowledge as of yet. This is only internally that it's been made known uh, to the President of the United States that Putin has threatened them to let them know, I will secure my border, and if that means I have to come into Finland to do so, like I did with Ukraine, he is willing to go that far. It's getting real serious. Listen, I also wanted to play this little clip here, Tucker Carlson and Jimmy Dore, your enemy is the military-industrial complex. I think this video here is worth listening to for a moment here, so please listen in the ones provoking this war just like we provoked the war in ukraine we are now provoking a war with china and what who who benefits i'll tell you right now your enemy is not china your enemy is not russia your enemy is the military industrial complex which has been fleecing this country to the tunes of hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars how many times are we going to have a defense secretary say hey we can't account for two trillion dollars in the pentagon again that like which has happened twice now in my lifetime so, again, people are being, uh, uh, the, the war machine cannot be stopped. 
who's running this country, the war machine. It certainly isn't Joe Biden making these decisions. I would like to know who is making the decisions. And I just want to remind everybody, the United States is the world's terrorist. We just set the Middle East on fire in the last 20 years, and now we're doing a proxy war in Ukraine, which we provoked, NATO provoked, and it was just admitted that we provoked it by the former prime minister of Germany. And now we're trying to save a with with China, and they're predicting a war. Again, China's not going to invade us. China's not our enemy. We might have an economic war. That's what these are. These are economic All right. wars. So these Jimmy Dore, uh, there with Tucker Carlson, and he is so true about what he's saying there. Um, now, when he says China will not invade, I don't think China will invade, but I have been told, though, that there is a possibility that China could invade, but using a proxy war machine to do so. In other words, uh, we do know that China has military assets inside of Canada, thanks to Justin Trudeau and him allowing them to come into his country. But I actually asked recently about the southern border. I said, that, you know, if Russia were to strike the United States with a nuclear weapon, what would we do about our southern border? I said, China never really put any asset there. And then I was told, China has been working with the cartel now for decades. So they do have a military wing, and it is the cartel uh, going down on the southern border, and they could use them for an invasion there. In fact, I was even told that it is believed, and it's not official, but it is believed that the Chinese made an agreement with the cartel that if they were to help in bringing down the, the United States for this New World Order agenda, that they would give them Texas and New Mexico in return and that China would take the rest. Now, I'm sure all my friends over in Texas say, that ain't gonna never happen. Don't forget the Alamo. Well, I understand and I certainly side with you there. Um, I just, but keeping in mind, don't kid yourself for a moment that something wacko, something crazy could not happen. Um, also too, I did a special broadcast about Hunter Biden and President Biden over on Patreon. Uh, that's something I need to do an update on. I uh, shared that with you guys there. A lot of you have seen it. I know a lot of you have appreciated that information. It is pretty far out there. I have checked into Washington sources there to see if there is any truth or possibility. Uh, and I'm going to do a video where that was discussed. Uh, part of it could be true. Uh, part of it may not be true. Uh, there are both pros and cons to the story. But... It could be very believable. And what's really strange is I looked at that whole story about Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. And by the way, for those of you that do not know here on Israeli News Live, this is basically information that's being leaked from a Mossad agent who is dying. And uh, so we shared it over on Patreon there. Uh, it implicates that Joe Biden is actually in a witness protection program and is cooperating to bring down the cabal in a lot of other places. Um, so we shared a lot of the details about that and that President Biden is not really the true president. He's not even really the guy you see standing there. Um, and the only thing that it could be, according to one insider that I spoke to, would be a clone. Uh, but there's a lot of information that I need to share with you guys and update you on that. I will do that just as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get that video out. I still have all these biblical verses up here. I am wanting to do this two bride doctrine idea bring that out. I want to deal with the two witnesses. That's a new one I'm working on because of being in the Dead Sea Scrolls as well. So I, I think for the teaching over on the Noon Institute, it's going to be some very interesting videos that I'll be sharing with you in the very near future. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for your support of this broadcast. IsraeliNewsLive.org, our website. Please don't forget that. And it's always up there at the top of the screen so you can see it there. And also, uh, if God lays upon your heart to help support the broadcast, we do appreciate that as well. You can click and donate online or via mail at P.O. Box 156 Sunbright, Tennessee 378.